What's up, Subby friends? So this video, I pretty much started it at the middle. So I didn't plan on recording anything, but then I just figured why not just get out the camera and start recording. So here it is. This is the video starting halfway through the whole process. What we were doing is we were polishing the car. And as you might know, I am no kind of detailer. I'm like an amateur polisher. I me mean, know what I know because of YouTube. So with that being said, there's a fly that's about to fly in my mouth. All the links, everything I used is in the description below. All right, see you soon, Subi friends. Peace out. Okay, so this is what I've been using and it's great for people like us who are budget, on the budget polishing that want to just take care of the car and make it look good. I've been using Chemical Guys Color Correcting Compound. I did that on the roof and I did it on the hood today or last night. Um, I didn't do it on the rest sides of the car because the sides of the car are actually pretty good, but also it's white. So, I mean, it's hard to really see the scratches, which is why I'm glad I did not get a black one. So right now we're going through the the rest of the car, we're gonna use the, there we are, look at focus, focus did it. <laughs> we're using this on the rest of the car and it smells super good. It goes on nice and smooth and it wipes off nice and smooth. I just forgot something. So we are using the color correcting compound with our orange cutting pad here and that. Right now we're using this with the white cutting pad. Ah. I got this chair from Harbor Freight. It's pretty dope. It's got these little pockets. You know, like when you're washing your car, doing your wheels, just like right there, bam. Super easy and convenient. Also, we are using towels from the rag company. I don't remember the exact names of them, but I will link them in the description below. We're using the Chemical Guys Torx Polisher. Like I said, on the budget, budget friendly. So we're also, when we're done with this, we are going to go through and we're gonna use the graphene spray coating from Adams. Now I'm fairly new to this, so I'm just being as careful as I can, taking my time, making sure I don't burn a hole or anything through the paint. So if you guys got any advice out there for me, yeah. I'm actually welcoming it. So right now I'm just gonna finish up this door. I pretty much have this power, this, this, and the other side, driver's door and passenger side to do. And then we should be done. We can start a ceramic coating, which will probably happen later tonight because I'm already behind schedule today. So like I said, we got our, I can never remember the name of this. Let's call it P4. Chemical Guys P4. And I think that one is P, Something. Yeah, you know when your videos just become all over the place? That's now. That is me. So I'm gonna put a little dab here, a little dab here. Almost done. I think I ought to do this again right before winter. And it doesn't bother me at all because I like doing it.
products. So there's like a little bit of contamination or something happening with the paint right there. How about here, like little, I don't know what that is. So what we're gonna do, instead of using the traditional clay bar, I've been using this sponge. And the sponge works really, really good. It works like, just like a clay bar. It uses this section right here, which feels like rubber. But the cool part is you don't have to replace it when it gets dirty, you just wipe it off. And then the sponge part actually holds the moisture from whatever lubricant you're using. And as far as lubricant, this is what I have been using. It's made by the same people, so it's made for the sponge, by the sponge people. And I am just gonna see if I can sponge slash clay this little section right here. It's like a little piece of like tiny, 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 tiny specks of tar. Then I'm gonna take this microfiber. It's actually clean. I did put it in the washing machine. Let's try that polish again. back we got a nice clean and shiny pad ooh so fresh and so clean yep we're just gonna knock out this back half should take about 30 minutes let's get started <laughs> So we are done polishing. You know what that means? Besides, we've got to clean all this up, most of it's up. So I had to close this back door because it was just crazy windy right now. I don't know if you can hear this door right here, just cracking and bending because of the wind. But yeah, closed it. Now we're on to ceramic coating. So what we're gonna use, like I said before, is a graphene ceramic coating by, well, it's the advanced formula, I should say, by Adams. Um, I like this one, because all you do is just spray it on here wipe it on really fast. Not really fast, but wipe it on in the usual H pattern. Wait about one minute, two minutes till you start to see the rainbow. It's so loud. Damn. Wait a few seconds till you see the rainbow. One to two minutes. And when you see the rainbow, you start wiping it off. To wipe it off, we're just gonna use a regular microfiber towel as well as these from the rag company. They're the same ones we use as polishing. Super soft, really nice, but I found that it's easier to wipe them off with this. And I'm using the white one because it's white and I like it. But you can spray this on and turn it on. And I already did the roof and the roof and the hood looks so good. And that's pretty much all you need for the whole car. So I'm just gonna do as much as I can up to here. The cool thing about it is you can do your plastics as well. So basically I'm gonna try and get everything in a timely matter, including the glass, before it does do the rainbow thing or it dries. And then once it dries, just wipe it right off.
visited the whole outside of the car, including the windows. However, I did not take off the wing, even though I probably should have. I, I don't know, I didn't feel like doing it because it would have been more of a pain in the butt to put it back on and take it off. And I just wasn't feeling that. It's good in the front. Look, you can even, if you walk closer, you can see me back there in the door. That's how gloss it is right now. So yeah, I'm putting a link to everything that I used in this video in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me polish this car. All right, Suzy friends. Like I said before, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.